towel cuffs sounds so kinky they stop the water from going down to like your elbows I like to wash my face with warm water so that my pores open up. When I was in esthetician school, one of the greatest pillars that they drilled into us was to always keep your skin barriers moisture levels in check. You can do all of the anti-wrinkle treatments, you can do all of the vitamin C's and stuff, but first things first is that moisture that your skin can retain. But of course, you know, I'm human and my hormones have been going insane these past two years. So what I'll have is like these random flare-ups of redness and breakouts. Hold on, I need to rinse this. I swear that ice bath that I dip my face in makes me feel like I can take over the world. Anyway, back to my skin issues. Yay. This past year, I've really dedicated to combating what's been happening with my skin because like it'll have its seasons, which is totally normal, but I really want to get to a place a little bit more consistent. The same with my emotions. It's all a work in progress, but I've recently incorporated a retinol. One of the side effects of beginning it is purging and skin drying, you know, as our cells are turning over. And for reference, my skin type is oily combination skin and it's sensitive, like my heart. Look, I can love deeply and openly, but just don't break it. I've been using one of the best selling K-beauty brands in the market right now, and that's Toradin. I literally saw them everywhere I went when I was visiting Korea, so I'm so happy that we got to partner up for this video. Thank you, Toradin, for sponsoring this portion. One month, baby, my skin barrier has really bounced back. What I've been using from Toradin specifically is their Dive In Low Molecular Hyaluronic Acid Line. I know it's a mouthful, but you'll understand why. So what I do is immediately after washing my face and it's still damp, I take Toradin's Dive In Toner just straight onto my hand try not to spill it it's very watery pat it all over my face I use a very light patting motion I always apply it down to my neck and my decollete my skin drinks the stuff up so well. The thing I noticed with K-Beauty toners, unlike a lot of Western toners, is that they're really focused on moisturizing and soothing. This toner is so perfect to prime my face for everything that I'm about to do to it. Having a toner that is watery and soothing makes all the sense because what we're doing is trying to seal up that water that we just introduced when washing our face. And then we also stripped our face of a lot of protective oils when cleansing it, so having something that is calming makes a lot of sense. The next thing I do is actually not skin related has to do with Toradin Solid in Lip Essence. This incredible mixture of organic oils like olive oil, organic jojoba oil. Hopefully I said that right. It's jojoba, right? Not jojoba. Feel free to correct me. Um, and macadamia oil. But somehow even with all of these ingredients that seem very heavy, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a lip essence. So it moisturizes without that super ooey gooey texture and it's fragrance free. So it's not so overwhelming as I'm layering on all of these makeup products. All right, step three is probably my favorite product. If you get one thing, it has to be this. I just love it so much. It's their Toradin Dive In Serum. I need to sneeze. Is anybody else having seasonal allergies right now? Oh no, it went away. Oh, that's the worst feeling. You know when you need to sneeze and you're like anticipating it? It fades away and there's this like congestion at the front of my face anyway. So the reason why I love this serum so much for all my skin nerds out there, but I honestly think everybody should kind of understand the ingredients that they're putting onto their face. So Toradin uses two ingredients that really caught my eye. They are Panthenol and Alentoine, which I'm probably butchering these ingredient names too. I just know them by studying like on paper. Panthenol, what it does is that it converts into a vitamin B once it gets absorbed into your skin. If you know, you know, vitamin B is such a key component to working in tandem with hyaluronic acid. And then the Alentoine, it's an emollient that really helps protect sensitive skin while increasing skin smoothness. Also, I've been seeing such an improvement on my neckline. I have this one neckline, tech neck, if we want to get technical with the terms. It's from kind of looking down a lot. Working long hours looking down. It's really been improving this past month. 
I love me a shiny collarbone moment, you know? It's so sexy. We're at our final step, but my skin is already looking like, look at that. That is not highlight. But to seal up all of these goodies, I use Toradin's Dive In Soothing Cream. This is probably going to be a staple of mine for a minute too because of its soothing properties. I don't know if you guys see a recurring theme. It's a lot of soothing and moisturizing, making sure to not overclog your pores. Our lovely makeup will take care of that for us, right? I'm just putting the soothing cream on as I do with the serum. Oh my gosh, immediately I feel my skin's temperature cooling down. It's so incredible how this soothing cream's texture, which is a gel, texture it makes me feel like I'm super hydrated but not overdoing it you know what I mean some hydrating creams are just so heavy and my skin really likes to store things that clogs it up you know but with the dive in line I have not seen my pores get clogged up as much as they did before the soothing cream has something that Toradin calls blue complex and it's this beautiful medley of herbal extracts like cornflower and hyacinth the detail to effectiveness in their formulas truly shine through my results like girl this is my skin I'll insert a before of my skin when I was like purging and you know having one of those seasons before I was introduced to Toradin. With the formulas that Toradin has, it absorbs at a quick rate but also at a rate that allows you to love and massage yourself as well. That's something that I really appreciate during my skincare routines. One of my favorite movements is taking my fingers and going like this. I don't know what this is. Like a little bird claw. <laughs> Drain my lymph nodes from my jawline up to my ear and bring it down to my neck. But their products allow me to do this without pulling on my skin, you know? And that's pretty much all I do for skin prep. And I'm already feeling so refreshed and renewed. Like I have this canvas that I can work with and it'll take my products really nicely. I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear tonight. I think I'm just gonna wear all black and then let my personality shine, you know what I mean? But you see with the products that I used, I don't need a makeup primer, which to me, honestly, makeup primers really are a culprit to my mini breakouts. Like when I have a string of little bumps and I swear the combination with the serum and the soothing cream makes my skin so supple. Put on a little foundation. Do you see how that goes on? Excuse me. Oh, oh it is so beautiful. <laughs> also, I just washed my brushes. So this is your reminder to wash your makeup brushes. I think this foundation is too light for me, right? So normally before I started this skin prep routine, I would immediately start noticing texture whenever I put on my foundations. Just because of how my texture underneath was catching onto the makeup product, I'm really curious to know if you guys are a 50-50 type of person. When you go on a date, you split the check or do you see the guy picking that up? I've done so much deep diving with my therapist about my take on it. I don't feel like I'm versed enough to discuss it, but I think it all comes down to how you want to be treated at the end of the day. And this is so random too, but I think one of my dream dates in like the first phase of getting to know somebody is a grocery store date and then you guys go home and cook a dinner together because I want to see if this man puts back the shopping carts. I don't know why it's so hot when I see them do that. Don't just leave it at a random parking spot. I think that goes the same for like things like littering and how they treat strangers. Also, if they feel the need to fill up all of the silent space that an interaction can have. Are they calm? Are they like zened out and confident in who they are and what their presence brings? Is this asking for too much? You know, I think there was a large part of me this past year that really wanted to bleach my eyebrows, like that song. Yeah, I just think eyebrows frame the face, so I never did it. It looks so good on some of the people that I've seen who've done it. I don't know, what do you think? It could be a look. No eyebrows? <laughs> cute in it. That's really all that matters. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!